Hi all, in this video, let's see the explanation for how and why we are going to get the result and what is the result for this question. Fine, this seems to be a simple question, but it needs a lot of points to understand. So let's discuss them. Firstly, in JavaScript, any of the object can access its properties or the method with the dot notation. Apart from the dot notation, you can also use square notation. So let me rewrite this like this, one, two, three, dot, two string, dot length okay this is what it means so instead of square notation you can use the dot notation as well i i just rewriting this like this fine so now the next part we need to understand is here we are just using the method name to string you are not calling the to string method you are just using the method name this is a second point and now let's understand one thing you are calling a function dot length so if you call a function dot length what happens so first we need to understand that before understanding that we need to understand like normal you have a normal function here this is a normal function if you call function dot length what happens you're going to get zero because function dot length what it returns means it returns how many parameters as its length so if you call any of the function not just this so if you just call any of the other functions so you'll be getting something like this. So like function dot length, it will return, it will return back how many parameters we have. So now here you have zero parameters. So that's the reason you are given, you go, you'll be getting zero. Now here you have one parameter. So function name dot length, you're not calling that function. You're just trying to get its length function dot length means it will return how many parameters are there that would be the number here you have one here you have two so zero one two three like that you will be getting okay fine so the, the definition of this function dot length will be different for different scenarios like for example you have the default parameters here when you have default parameters like this so what happens is you'll be getting the zero the, the parameters length so how does it calculate it it will not calculate the default parameters as a length okay only the normal parameters would be added so now in this case you have two things but name it would be only returning the, as a one okay now in this case you have this is given here but it if these two are not considered and only name is considered that's the reason you got one here and if this default parameter is given as a first one then now the length would be zero it means in short default parameters are not considered as a part of the length Okay, and before the default parameters only, whatever we have, those are considered as a length of the function. So this is a minimum understanding of function dot length. What happens when you call the function dot length? So that the meaning for this rest operator also, it would be different. So if you, for example, you are using the rest operator in a function, and if you call function dot length, it will return one. It means the rest operator is also not considered as a part of the length. So all these things why we are learning is because you need to understand what the function dot length is going to return. The function dot length is going to return how what is a parameter, how many parameters it has. So that is what it is going to return back. So now toString is not a method. So you're not calling the method. You are just using the method name and you are saying the length. It means function dot length. Now it is what it should return, how many parameters it has that it is going to return back. By default, to string. So let me rewrite this once again. So how it looks like. So it is like so one dot two string of ten dot length. So this is how it looks. This is how it is going to look. So what is this ten? We are we are just using method name. Okay. But what is this? So by default, this is going to happen for the to string. So this is like a base conversion. So we'll be having the values from two to 36, okay? This is by default, it would be there for the two string. So now you have a method, okay? And what is the length of this method? So this is what we need to understand. This is the main point, okay? Now it is passing as one parameter, Your, okay? This method has one parameter. So that's the reason entire this becomes one. Okay, now that is the reason you will be getting one, plus 123 equal to 124 as a result. That is a result. So this is by default. It will not be visible as for us, but it would be there for two string. 10 is a default value. 
so this is 10 is considered as a parameter now that's the reason when you call this length you are going to get one here enter this so that this is like 21 to 124 is the answer here we'll be getting so let's try to understand something other than this okay so if you call the method what happens so i'm using the calling method so here what you did you just use the method name you're not calling that method name so in that case you'll be getting enter this value as a one and 124 is a result now in this case i'm calling this method so then what happens is this 123 number is converted as so what it happens is this 123 will be converted into string and now it will be doing something like this the string dot this and 123 what happens here 123 means three three characters so this string dot length means you will be getting three plus 123 you will be getting the answer as 126 here so in this case it would be 124 in this case it would be 126 so most of them usually they can answer this because you are calling a two string function and you are passing this one two three it means you are going to convert this one two three number as a string and then you are finding the length of this string like one two three but this is a, a bit tricky here this is a bit tricky here you need to understand the method to string will see when i hover it you can see on the top this is a number it has a default number as a 10 okay this uses usually we use this for the uh, like base conversions we'll be using this okay fine so by default it would be the 10 and it it has a 10 it means you have only one parameter so that is the reason you'll be getting here as a one one plus 123 so this is a bit tricky things so you need to understand when you call this method the result would be different when you don't call this method just use a method then you need to understand this concept function dot length what is the function dot length what does it happen when you use function dot length so that is what happens here that function is twisting dot length what happens is function dot length uses okay so that is what we have explained here so hope you understand this thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos thank you